This do-it-yourself safe solar eclipse pinhole projector gives you a good way to watch the eclipse if you have not gotten some of the safe eclipse glasses that you're supposed to wear. This is an indirect way of watching the eclipse. It's very simple to make and you can do it yourself or you can help your grands make one. You're going to take a shoe box, I've taken the lid off the shoe box, and we're going to cut a hole in one end. I'm going to make it towards the bottom right. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that on here so you can see what I'm doing. But about one inch by one inch here. We're going to use an X-Acto knife to cut this hole. So you'll want to be sure to help your younger grands with this. And I just kind of poke down into the box with the point of the X-Acto knife and pull it up and then come down again. I don't really try to slit in a long, direct line. And this works really well. This is where the sun rays are going to come down into our box. There we go. I tear that out, and there's the hole in the end of the box. I'm going to cover this hole with a piece of tin foil. I'll just tape that over the end of the box. Then I'm going to use a pin to poke a hole through this tin foil where that square is cut underneath here. So the square is right there, and I'm just going to gently put a pinhole through that. Now, believe it or not, that's all we need is a pinhole. Next, we're going to take a piece of white paper and put it in the opposite end of the box, inside from where we put the tin foil. And I'm just going to fold this paper up. To fourths. I think that will fit right down inside that box. Just a little bit tall, so I'm going to cut off one end. So you just make the paper fit into the bottom end of this box, because what this is going to be our viewer, where we're going to watch the um, eclipse. It's going to be just a little bit of sunshine that comes through that hole and shines on this paper. Now we put the lid on the box, and you can tape that on if you want to. Alright, so I'm going to draw a hole, a square that's on the side of the box, closest to the end with the white paper, opposite the end with the, the tin foil on it. So I'm going to draw a hole on here. Again, it's about one inch by one inch, and I'm going to cut it out with my X-Acto knife. fingers inside the box when you're using an X-Acto knife. So if you're holding the inside of the box, you might accidentally cut yourself. Take the lid off again for a minute, so now you see that my, my box has a hole in the side of it, it has the white paper in the end, and it has the um, hole with the pinhole and the aluminum foil over the other end. Again, just close my box up, and here's my do-it-yourself safe solar eclipse pinhole projector. That is a mouthful, isn't it? Woohoo! We're ready for the eclipse. So you put your back towards the sun, never look up into the sun, and let the sun come over your shoulder, go through the pinhole, and it will reflect on this white paper. It will shine down on the white paper. You'll look through this hole, and you'll be able to see the eclipse happening as that white dot of sunlight grows smaller and smaller with the eclipse. And eclipses are cool even if you can't be in a total eclipse. 
So I hope you enjoy using your pinhole viewer if you don't have some of the special glasses you're supposed to wear. So this do-it-yourself safe solar eclipse pinhole projector will help you safely watch the solar eclipse. For more nature ideas, come on over to welcometonanas.com and join the fun.